So for those of you who aren't familiar with us, we're the National Institute on Money and State Politics, better known as Follow the Money. And we collect state level campaign finance information for all 50 states. We do this by collecting the data from the disclosure agencies themselves. And we make it accessible to the public and advocates and anybody who wants to view this information. Now, we only do this at the state level. A lot of times people will ask us, well, do you have information on Barack Obama or do you have my US State Center? No, we don't. That is Open Secrets, which is another great organization. Mm -hmm. If you want state level, come to us. And the reason that we only do state level is because that still means we're collecting over 100,000 reports every election cycle. And we have to work with 50 different sets of rules for these reports. So they come to us in all kinds of different formats. We take electronic databases, PDF files, paper files, and we combine them all together um, in order to create our database. And a lot of that means we have to enter it manually and then check all of that to make sure that we entered it correctly. Um, and the end result is that we end up with something that states themselves don't have, which is everything in one place. Now you can download all of our data for free. You can sign up for My Follow the Money on our website and download different charts, or you can go to transparencydata.com and get a bulk download of our data. Uh, we also provide APIs, which you can use, or we have widgets if you're not as technically minded, so you can just take the code that we already have and copy it onto your website. Now, you might be wondering, why would you want to download our data? What can you do with it? Um, and we have all kinds of different tools that we've already provided for our website. Um, we're hoping to possibly do another session today to go over a lot of these tools, but I'd like to go over a few of them quickly with you. Um, one of the ones we have that's one of our most basic tools is, um, I guess I'm ahead of myself here. <laughs> Uh, one of our tools is uh, the My District tool. Uh, it lets you enter your home address or any other address you might want to enter into the site. Um, and you can see a list of candidates in your district and you can see the, ca the campaign finance that they've raised so far and you can see who's competing against them. And then you can also click on their names and delve even deeper into that individual person. Uh, we also have the LCAT tool, which we combine our API with Project Vote Smart's APIs, and we compile lists of all of the committee members at in the state level. And you can look at, say, the agriculture committee and what agriculture industry has given to that committee. And then we have our industry influence tool, which allows you to look at different industries, see what they've given over time, and look at which parties that they've given to. Um, and we also do reports, um, for those of you who don't like technical information at all. Um, and our reports are based on news of the day. Uh, we'll keep track of what's going on in the news and look at major players and show you what the campaign finance is going into what's happening in the news. So you can kind of match up and see if there's any influence that might be happening there. Um, and our data is verifiable which is why journalists around the country rely on our data. Uh, we've been in all kinds of national and major newspapers, and we've been reviewed by academics who study electoral processes, <coughs> and Michael Malbin at the Campaign Finance Institute has also checked our numbers. And when they first did that, they came back to us and they said, we were within five or six percent error. And we looked at that and we're like, well, did you take into account loan returns and repayments and all that? And they're like, oh no. And they came back and said we were within one or 2%, which is really, really good. Um, and we've been cited in three US Supreme Court cases, including Citizens United. Um, so I'd like to thank Sunlight Foundation and everybody else who has supported us. And if you have any questions, feel free to contact me and you can always call or email me as well. Thank you.